Good evening po! Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat, brothers and sisters. So, binabati po namin lahat ang ating uh, mga ka-Bible study. No? Ngayong gabi at sa mga uh, ka-Bible study rin ng Monday to Friday. So, thank you for joining the 8 o'clock habit po natin. Magandang habit ito, no? Yung uh, uh, inaalam natin ang uh, salita ng Diyos sa uh, gabi-gabi. Diba? Sarap naman no, nakakatawa. So, ang uh, <clears throat> bago tayo mag-umpisa, Iron, mag-pray ka naman na. Um, let us pray. Um, Lord, thank you po for today. Thank you for keeping, keeping us safe from harm. And thank you Lord for the healing, wisdom, and blessings. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. 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 So, brothers and sisters, halos uh, patapos na po tayo sa ating series ng uh, tungkol sa The Great I Am ng ating Lord Jesus. So, ano na nga ulit? Mag-recap nga tayo. Ano yung mga napag-usapan nating I Am ng Lord? Gerald? Bread. Bread of life. I am the bread of life. Light of the world. I am the light of the world. Good shepherd. I am the good shepherd. Ano pa? Door. I am the door, no? If anyone enters by me, he will be saved. Ano pa na dan? The resurrection. And, and the life. life. Oh. I am the resurrection and the life. I am the <coughs> way, the truth, the life. Yun yung pang-anim. At saka, ano pa? True vine. I am the true vine, sabi niya. And my father is the vine dresser or gardener. No? So, last week, pinag-usapan natin yan, brothers and sisters, that uh, sabi nga ng Lord, He is the vine and we are the branches. No? And if we remain in the vine, if we remain in Him, then, kompleto yung ating supply. Diba? Sa vine, eh, doon nag-flow yung supply. Eh. Kaya, um, if we remain in the Lord, then, um, we will be satisfied. Kumbaga, no? So, uh, marami pa po actually, may dalawa pa ako nakita na I am ng Panginoon. And uh, yun ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong gabi para makumpleto po natin yung mga I am na sinabi ng Panginoong Yesus. Okay? So, uh, matatagpuan po yung ating verse sa John 8. Actually, uh, sa John 8, kung babasahin natin yung buong text na yon ay uh, dito nagkaroon ng uh, mga dispute kung sino ba si Jesus. Yung tatanungin nila si Lord Jesus, pagsasagutin naman ni Lord Jesus, medyo naman sila na makapaniwala dun sa, sa mga sagot. So, medyo mahabang discussion nito and uh, uh, talagang may mga ay ampa dito ang Panginoon. So, John 8.23 But he continued, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am he, you will indeed die in your sins. Mm -hmm. Who are you? they asked. Just what I have been telling you from the beginning, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is trustworthy, and what I have heard from him I will tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father. So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I, for I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many believed in him. Mm -hmm. Yon. So may mga naniniwala naman po, brothers and sisters. Pero meron din mga hindi naniniwala. So nakita natin dito yung I am ni Lord. I am from above. No? At meron yung I am He. Sabi niya doon sa Son of God. No? So, um, sabi ko, di ba pag 
sabi ko nga, napaka-bless po natin, brothers and sisters, because we know the story. No, alam natin ang nangyari sa Panginoong Yesus na pumunta nga siya rito upang uh, makrucify no? at uh, bayaran yung ating mga kasalanan. Pero siyempre sila noon, medyo ang hirap intindihin talaga. No? Ang hirap intindihin kung minsan hindi nila makomprehend kung ano ang sinasabi ng ating Panginoong Yesus. So, yun nga yung sabi niya sa verse 28 na, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am He. So, nag-search po ako sa scriptures, when you have lifted up the Son of Man, ibig sabihin nung na-lift siya, na, na-lift siya sa cross, di ba? Nung na-crucify siya, ni-lift siya from the earth, no? Kasi, uh, um, pinako nga siya sa cross. So, pinuntahan ko po yung verse kung kailan na-lift siya sa cross, no? Kung kailan, when he was lifted up. Meron ba dun sinasabi that He is the Son of Man? So, basahin mo nga, Aaron, sa Matthew 27, beginning sa verse 45. Hanggang 54? Ah, ah. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness co- came over all the land. And three in the afternoon, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eli, Eli, Lema Sabash, Sabashtani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of those standing there heard this, they said, He's calling Elijah. Immediately, one of them ran and got a sponge. He filled it with wine vinegar, put it on a staff, and offered it to drink, for to Jesus to drink. The rest said, Now leave him alone. Let's see if Elijah comes to save him. And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. At that moment, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rock splits, and the tubes broken, op- broke open. The bodies of many holy people who had died were raised to life. They came out of their tombs after Jesus' resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared to many people. When the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that had happened, they were terrified and exclaimed, Surely he was the Son of God. Mm. Diba? May connect, ano, brothers and sisters. No? May connection nung sinabi ni Jesus, When I am lifted up, no, you will know that I am He, no, the Son of Man or the Son of God. So dito yung connection niya sa Matthew 27 nandoon no when the centurion and those with him who were guarding Jesus saw the earthquake and all that happened they were terrified and exclaimed surely he was the son of god no so yun no nagkaroon ng realization which sinabi yun ni Jesus no na when i am lifted up when you have lifted up the son of man then you will know that I am He. No? So talagang uh, walang walang lie o walang mali sa lahat ng sinasabi ng Panginoon. Indeed, He is the way, the truth, and the life. Ano? So ito, yung truth. No? So sinabi sa John 8, tapos dun sa Matthew 27, sinabi, Surely, He is the Son of God. O, di ba? So, yun yung, yung nakita kong connection na yung katotohanan dun sa sinabi ng Panginoon that I am He. I am the Son of God. So, nagtuloy-tuloy pa rin yung mga diskusyon dun sa John 8 about Him. And makikita natin sa John 8.54, anong sinasabi dun mo? This is a reply. I, if I glorify myself, my gl- My glory means nothing. My Father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Though you do not know him, I know him. If I said I did not, I would be a liar like you. But I do not. But I do know him, and obey his word. Your Father Abraham rejoiced. At the top of seeing my day, 
he saw it and, and was glad. You are not yet fifty years old, they said to him, and you have seen Abraham? Very tu truly I tell you, Jesus answered, before Abraham I was before Abraham was born, I am. And this at this at this they pick up stones to stone him, but Jesus hid himself sleeping away from the temple grounds. Mm -hmm. So talagang dito sa buong John 8, yung kwento na, at revelation ng Panginoong Jesus that He is the Son of God. No? My Father, whom you claim as your God, is the one who glorifies me. Sabi niya, no? And sabi nga niya, di niya gulat na naman yung mga tao, bakit kilala mo si Abraham? No? Ba't kilala mo si Abraham? So, si eh, bata ka pa naman. No? Ewan ko kung ilang taon na si Abraham. Ilang taon na ba si ang nakalipas bago dumating si Jesus? Hundreds of years na, di ba? Oo. Oh. Ay, hindi. Ilan, ilang taon bago dumating si Jesus from Abraham? I don't know. Mahirap na exam yun na Research yes. natin. Years. <laughs> Hundreds of years na po yun, brothers and sisters. Kaya sabi nila, hindi ka pa nga 50, bakit mo kliniklaim na kilala mo na si Abraham, no? But sabi ng Painoon, before Abraham was born, I am. No? Talagang, um, eto, yung mga revelation ng Panginoon sa kanila, no? Uh, Siyempre, nagugulantang sila sa mga sinasabi ng uh, Panginoon na siya nga ang anak ng Diyos. So, kung babalikan natin itong, kasi before Abraham was born, I am. Ang sinasabi ng Panginoon, He is in the beginning. In the beginning, no? He is God. no He is already there. Okay? So, anong sinasabi ng Panginoon dito sa John 8? That the Lord is saying, I am from above. I am not of this world. I am the Son of God. I am existing before anyone else came to be. No, He is in the beginning. So, revelation talaga ito na siya ay uh, anak ng Diyos. So, aside from all the other I ams na sinabi ng Panginoon, ito talaga yung um, nagsasabing siya, ah, siya na mismo ang nagsabing siya ay anak ng Panginoon Ama. No? Yun. Uh, at yun siguro ang pinakamatinding uh, katotohanan na hindi matanggap ng mga tao. Kaya nga, gusto na nila siyang batuhin. No? They would want to stone him. No? They pick up stones, sabi doon kanina, no? to stone him sana. Kasi siguro natanggap nila yung iba. No? Anong sinasabi niya? Pero yung anak ako ng Diyos, parang nahirapan po silang tanggapin ng panahon na yun, no? Buti na lang talaga na buhay tayo sa generation na ito, brothers and sisters, kasi marami nang nagdaang mga prophets and apostles na nagsabi sa atin yung kwento ng ating salvation, no? Kaya talaga nga, we are blessed. Kung hindi, baka litong-lito pa rin tayo. Kung nandun tayo sa panahon na yun, Baka nga pareho rin yung reaksyon natin sa reaksyon ng mga tao noon, no? Kasi medyo mahirap intindihin, lalo na yung katotohanan mo to. So, uh, the Lord is saying that before Abraham was, He is already there. So, maalala nyo dun sa Jan 1. Si Jan, Jan, Jan 8 kasi ito, eh, no? Yung pinag-usapan nating verse. Pero sa Jan 1 pa lang, sinabi na ni John, Apostle John, that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. So, sabi nga niya, no? Di ba? Before Abraham, I am. No? In Him was life, and the life that was the light of all man, mankind. 
No, the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has awakened. And the Word became flesh, and He dwelt among us. We have seen His glory. Ano yung glory na yun? Yung, uh, lahat ng miracles niya, napakarami. No? Nakita natin yung kakayaan niya doon, yung power niya, yung glory niya. At syempre, lalong-lalo na yung kanyang resurrection. No? He came from the Father, full of grace and truth. No? So, He was in the world, and though the world was made through Him, no, the world, lahat po ng laman ng mundo, kakasama po tayo, the world was made through Him, ang malungkot, the world did not recognize Him. No? Bakit kaya hindi siya na-recognize? No? He came to that which was His own, but His own did not receive Him. But, or yet, to all who did receive Him and to those who believe in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. No? So, why do most people during that time did not recognize the Lord Jesus? Arvin. They focus their belief on what they know. Mm, like, ano yung alam nila? Jesus was born of Mary and his father is Joseph. Oh, yun kasi yung alam nila eh, no? Yun yung, yun, katotohanan naman yung alam nila. Kaya hindi sila makapaniwala, no? Can you imagine a God coming down to earth na, pero anak naman ng karpentero? Paano yun? So medyo ang hirap nga naman, no? At uh, kahit nun doon sa, nung sinabi niya that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, di ba? Maalala niyo yung uh, nandun siya sa temple, binuksan niya yung ano, scroll, at sinabi niya na, ano sabi niya mo doon sa Luke sa verse 18? The Spirit, the Spirit of the Lord is on me because He has anointed me to proclaim good news <coughs> to the poor. Is a, he has sent me to pro pro proclaim freedom for the pr prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the op oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Then he rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him he began by saying to them today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing all spoke well of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his lips isn't this joseph's son they asked mm -hmm. So, kahit na namangha sila sa mga sinabi ni Jesus, no? they were amazed at His gracious words. No? Kahit na narinig nila sa salita ng ni Jesus that this today, this part of the scripture is fulfilled in your hearing, nagtatalo pa rin sa isip, mm -hmm. hindi ba ito yung anak ni Joseph? Bakit mm -hmm. niya sinasabi yung ganun? No? So, they focus their belief on what they know. Well, hindi po natin sila masisi. Sabi ko nga, kung tayo, kaya nabuhay sa panahon noon, baka tayo rin magda-doubt na kaya niyang gawin yung sinabi niyang proclaim the good news to the poor, proclaim freedom to prisoners, recovery of the sight to the blind, to set the oppressed free, and to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor medyo magkakaroon ng doubt. Sino ito? Hindi ba ito yung anak ni Joseph? Na asawa ni Mary. Di ba? Mga gaganon eh, no? Oo. So, hindi nila na-recognize si Jesus because, of course, they are focused on the facts. Ano pa? Why did they not recognize him? Ano, Jeff? Jesus is young. He cannot be older than Abraham. Oh, di ba? Facts din yun. Kahit science, <coughs> balibaligtarin mo, no? 
ang bata pa niya, paano yung masabing mas kilala siya ni Abraham or Abraham rejoiced to see him. Paano yun? Di ba? So, yun ang ano eh, yun ang logical, yun ang natural, no? Na nangyayari. And, um, talagang, uh, hindi mo na alam kung mali. Uh, di ba? Parang, ano ba, tama ba? Mali ba? Maniniwala ba ako? Hindi ba? Medyo confused. Confused yung mga tao kasi nga, bata pa naman si Jesus, ba't niya sinasabi? At his, he knows Abraham and Abraham rejoice to know him. No? So, people did not recognize the Lord Jesus kasi nakafocus on the natural nakafocus on what they see, nakafocus on the facts that they heard, the facts that they know, no? Medyo facts, no? About facts. Well, totoo yung sabi ng Panginoon, I am from above, you are from below, I'm not of this world, you are of this world. So, magkaibang, magkaibang mundo nga magkaiba, magkaiba. So, mahirap talagang i-comprehend noon. Ano? Yun. Um, maalala nyo pa na, uh, so, kung itutuloy natin doon sa, from John 8, pupunta tayo doon sa John 10. No? Kasi these people continue to seek Him, ask Him, they get answers, but they won't believe. So, patuloy pa rin, even doon sa John 10, mababasa natin yung dandanting na mo. John 10, 22. Then came the festival of dedication at Jerusalem. It was winter, and Jesus was in the temple courts walking in Solomon's colonnade. The Jews who were there gathered around him, saying, How long will you keep us in suspense? If you are the Messiah, tell us plainly. Jesus then tell us plainly. Jesus answered, I did tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me. But you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one will snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. And I and the Father are one. Mm-hmm. Alam niyo po ba yung mga susunod na kabanata doon? Gusto na nila talaga batuhin ang Panginoon kasi sabi nila blasphemy, no? Kasi sabi nila blasphemy. Kaya galit na galit na sila kay Jesus kasi lalo na ito, sabi na naman niya, no? So, nung John 8, sinasabi niya, Before Abraham was, I am he. John 8, sinasabi niya, I am the Son of God. When you see me lifted up, then you will know that I am He, the Son of God. So, ito na naman, no, dito sa John 10, bakit mo ba kami, hindi mo na lang sabihin na ikaw yung Messiah? Sabi ng mga tao. Eh, sinabi ko na nga sa inyo, sabi na ng Lord, no? Hindi naman kayo maniwala. O ngayon, sabi na naman ni Lord sa kanila, I and the Father are one. Nako po, lalo na naman, na no, yung confusion, yung gulo sa isip. Ano siya, na ay anak ng Diyos, tapos ngayon, He and the Father are one, no? So, sabi nila, blasphemy, blasphemy. Sige nga, anong tuloy natin yung basa? Sa verse 37. Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy? Because I said, I am the Son, I am God's Son. Do not believe me unless I do the works of my Father. But if I do them, even though you do not believe me, believe the works, that you may know and understand that the Father is in me, and I in the Father. Mm-hmm. Again, they tried to seize him, but he escaped their grasp. <laughs> so, ito, blasphemy. So, sabi, Bakit niyo ako i-charge ng blasphemy? Sabi ni Ulod na yung ni Lord Jesus na dahil sinabi akong anak ako ng Diyos. Eh, sige, kung ayaw niyong maniwala sa salita ko, pwede bang maniwala na lang kayo dahil sa mga ginawa ko? 
no? Sabi na ni Jesus, no? Sige, ayaw mo maniwala sa words ko. Ano yung mga ginawa ko? Kaya bang gawin yun ng human? Diba? The blind. Ilang blind yung pinagaling ng Lord. Ilang demon possessed ang pinagaling ng Lord. No? Ilan ang lame. Ilan ang na-resurrect to life. Because He is the resurrection and the life. Marami, no? So ngayon, eto na, no? Pwede ba? Nakita nyo na lahat yung aking mga ginawa. Kung ayaw nyo maniwala sa sinasabi ko, pwede bang maniwala kayo sa aking ginawa at ginagawa? No? So, despite the continued revelation of the Lord Jesus about Himself, all His words fell on deaf ears. Iba talaga, ayaw nilang maniwala. Saan ganyan din tayo, brothers and sisters? No? We have the tendency. Narinig naman natin, pero gusto natin, kalahati lang. No? <laughs> Ayaw natin paniwalaan lahat. No? Oh. Sige na, sabihin mo na sa amin kung sino ka. Ikaw ba yung Messiah? Ako nga! Ayaw naman maniwala. No? So, talagang uh, na-steer up yung kanilang ano. At uh, yun nga, um, ayaw nilang maniwala sa Panginoong Jesus. So, ito yung uh, um, siguro balikan natin sandali. Ano yung how did the Lord reveal Himself? Or how did the Father reveal then si Jesus? No? Siguro balikan natin na sa mandali yung appearance ni John the Baptist. No? Okay, Arvin, John the Baptist. John 1. Balik tayo. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This is the one I meant when I said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. I myself did not know him, but the reason I came baptizing with water was that he might be revealed to Israel. Then John gave this testimony. I saw the Spirit come down from heaven as a dove and remain on him. And I myself did not know him, but the one who sent me to baptize with water told me, The man on whom you see the Spirit come down and remain is the one who will baptize with the Holy Spirit. I have seen and I have testified that this is God's chosen one. Mm-hmm. Sa umpisa pa lang, John 1, ano? Talagang may revelation na na ang Panginoong Jesus ang siya nga ang the one. No? Okay. Kasi, the Spirit of the Lord came upon Him. Yun ang nakita ni John. At yun ang narinig niya rin. Kasi sabi ni John, the one whom you see the spirit may nagsalita daw sa kanya na, na kung sino man yung tao na kung saan magdidesend yung Holy Spirit ay siya yung no, love of God so at Jesus revealed himself through his power and his works ang dami nga niyang ginawa no? he went to Galilee no preaching the gospel healing every kind of sickness which yun yung sinabi niya sa una pa lang that the spirit of the Lord is upon me to proclaim the news good news to the poor heal the sick and so on so na na, na spread yung news even through Syria no? so how did Jesus reveal himself marami siyang sinabing I am no yun nga yung I am the bread of life the light of the world no and uh, the door the good shepherd the resurrection and the life the way the truth and the life the vine at yung pinag-aaralan nga natin yung declaration niya that he is the son of God and he and the father are one no kaling no so yun talaga yung the Lord Jesus, no? And the Lord did what He preached, no? Whatever He said, happened. Whatever He, you know, ginawa niya lahat ang kanyang sinabi. So, we can really see that uh, there's truth in Him, no? There's truth in Him. Okay. So, anong reflection natin, brothers and sisters? 
So sa ngayon po ba, with all the stories we heard about the Lord Jesus, do we have doubts about Him being the Lord and Savior and being the Son of God? May doubts po ba tayo? May doubts ba? Kayo, that the Lord Jesus is really the Son of God? Meron? Sumagot naman nga yun. Wala. Wala. Okay. There's no doubt. No. Ngayon, brothers and sisters, kung meron po kayong doubt, no, then invite the Lord Jesus into your life. Kasi pwede niya pong i-reveal naman po yung sarili niya sa inyo personally. No? Ask the Lord to open your eyes so you can see His work in your life. No? Ask the Lord to help you see the evidences of the great I am that He pronounced. No? Lord, sige nga, gusto kong makita yung uh, you are the bread of life. No? Give me this daily supply of provision and protection and all of my needs and sabi mo sa akin doon, ipakita mo sa akin that all those blessings are coming from you. No? Pwede rin i-pray na, Lord, sige nga, i-reveal mo naman sa akin yung being a true light, yung ikaw yung light of the world. Lord, ilawan mo yung aking isip para tama yung aking mga decision. Give me wisdom to do what is right. So, ganun po, brothers and sisters, if you have doubts that Jesus is really our Lord and Savior and the Son of God, despite all the truths na narinig natin sa Bible, invite Him. No? Alam nyo, napakabuti po ng Panginoon talagang if we accept Him as our Lord and Savior, He will no? reveal Himself to us. Ano pa? So, do you have doubts about God's purposes naman in your life? Lord, andiyan ka ba talaga? No, ikaw ba talaga ang Diyos na nagmamahal sa akin? No, ba talaga? Ba't ako nandito sa mundo? No. So, if meron po kayong doubt about bakit ba ako napanganak? No, bakit ako nandito sa pamilyang ito? Bakit ako nakatira sa Piascam 7? Oh, bakit ako nandito? No? Bakit ako nagtatrabaho dito sa lugar na ito? No? If you have doubts about God's purposes in your life, no? kasi yung mga tao, oh, sinabi na ng Lord sa kanila na He will. No? He is the Lamb of God. He, uh, he will be lifted up no? for the world. No? That for God so loved the world that He gave His Son. No? Uh, yun ang purpose ng pagdating ng Panginoon. Eh. So tayo po ba alam din natin yung purpose? Kung meron po kayong doubt about your purpose in life, seek God's word. No? Concerning you. No? So yung una, invite the Lord Jesus into your life so He can reveal Himself to you kung may doubt po kayo that He is the Lord and Savior. Ngayon, kung may doubt kayo concerning your purposes in life, you have to seek God's word concerning you. Ano bang sinasabi ng Panginoon tungkol sa inyo? Amon, ano sinasabi? Alimbawa, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm. Ano pa? God loves you and gave His only son for you mm. because of this sacrifice. Mm. We are saved, healed, favored, accepted, and approved. Christ the Beloved. Amen. O, di ba? Kompleto. So, kung, when we seek God's word, doon po malalaman natin, napaka-importante pala ako sa Panginoon. Mahal na mahal pala ako ng Panginoon. No? Mayroon palang nakalaan na future sa akin. May nakalaan. There's hope for me. Kasi, ang plano pala ng Lord sa akin, it's to prosper me, to surround me with favor, to... Uh, help me live life to the full. Nako. So yun, brothers and sisters, if you have doubts who the Lord Jesus is, invite Him into your life. If you have doubts on what's your purpose in this life, seek the Word of God. Nandun po. Lahat po tayo, no? Bakit? And if you have doubts 
who you are <laughs> then you can start also declaring yung I am natin no? ano bang pwedeng I am natin mo I am fearfully and wonderfully made yeah. I am a child of God sabi kasi kanina di ba yet sabi niya those who believe in him he gave the right to become children of God. No, no pa. I am a child of God. No, I am saved. I am redeemed. I'm forgiven. I'm justified. No, ano pa? I am loved by the Lord. No? So, kung medyo nagdadal po kayo, sino ba ako sa Panginoon? I am equipped. I am the grace. righteousness of God in Christ. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I'm blessed. I lack nothing because God is my shepherd. No, I am supplied with everything I need because I'm connected to the vine. No? So, I think it's sa ito sa magandang tinuturo ng I am sa atin, ng Panginoon, na tayo rin, pwede rin po nating sabihin, i-declare yung mga I am, kagaya ng ginawa ng Panginoong Yesus. Sinabi niya kung sino siya. Marami siyang description, no? Resurrection and the life, the way, the truth, and the life, the vine, the door, the bread, the light, no? Tayo rin, brothers and sisters, meron din tayo yan, no? Sabi ng Lord, halimbawa, um, you are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. O di, pwede rin natin sabihin, I am the light of the world. I am the salt of the earth. And it will be. No? Diba? 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 So, pwede rin natin gawin. I am guapo. Fearfully and wonderfully made nga eh. Diba? Tama. Guapa pala. Kayo yung guapo. Okay. I am equipped. I'm talented. No? Oh. I am. So, brothers and sisters, I think yun yung reflection natin. Na, if you have doubts in the Lord, invite Him into your life. If you have doubts in your purpose in life, seek the Word of God. If you have doubts in who you are, start declaring yung sinabi ng Panginoon sa inyo. You are the light of the world. You are the salt of the earth. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. My favor surrounds you as with a shield. You are righteous in Christ. Kalino. So, kung yan po yung dinedeclare natin araw-araw din sa ating mga sarili, then surely, you know, goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. No? So, itinuro na po yan na ating Panginoon that we too must declare our I am's. No? Okay, so yun lang po brothers and sisters. So puli, no? Na pagmuni-munihan natin, mabalik-balikan natin yung ating mga lesson tungo sa mga I am ng Panginoon. And uh, um, really um, uh, have that personal relationship with the Lord and He will reveal Himself to us. Makikita natin lahat yung I am niya mangyayari sa ating buhay. Makikita natin who He is in our life. And sa araw sabi natin, Lord, thank you. Thank you that you have revealed yourself to me. Thank you that you have made, made known all your wonderful deeds to me. At yun hindi lang made known, kundi na-experience ko pa. Okay, sige, brothers and sisters, manalain na tayo, Mon. Uh, close us in prayer at uh, let's thank God that He has revealed Himself to us and that we are enjoying a full life because of what He has done. Because He loves us so much. Thank you Lord sa uh, word mo today, tonight. Uh, thank you sa mga revelations sa amin. Sana ipamuhay namin yun na iniisip na namin uh, ikaw ang um, I am. The great I am. And uh, uh, we invite you 
in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen, Amen, brothers and sisters. See you next week, Colet. Good birthday, man.